is Sally Morgan, physical therapist, craniosacral therapist, and Tellington T. Touch practitioner for animals and people. And this is Tristan. He's a corgi. And we're excited about this episode of Conversations with a Corgi because we're here at the Mayflower Fun Day Corgi Picnic and Meeting. Look at all the hearts coming in for the corgis. Corgi love. We need some corgi love. There are a few corgis here set up in their little X pens in the shade, resting from their drive down. And we're right by the wonderful sign where Mayflower has been made into a corgi. And we're very excited about all the games we're going to have today. We're going to have musical hula hoops, and we do who has the shortest ears, the longest ears, the fluffiest butt, the least white, the most white, most foxy. There's all kinds of fun corgi games that we're going to have today. And usually we're dodging the sun in the afternoon, but in the morning here, there's plenty of shade where we are. Although right where we are, as you can tell by Tristan panting, it's not that shady. And I'd say there are about one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, 10, 15 corgis here already. We usually have a turnout of 30 to 50 corgis. They're getting the ring ready over there. And one of the cool things they do at this corgi party is you bring some corgi loving thing um, from your home you know, or something you purchased. I often bring socks. Today I'm bringing my book, Dances of the Heart, Connecting with Animals, because it's halfway about corgis. And you donate it to the prize table, and then you accumulate points over the day in your different classes. And then you get to pick something from the prize table when they call your number. So somebody might have 80 points, and then 70, and 60, and 50. And it's a cool thing to do to share the corgi love of all the corgi stuff that people with corgis collect in their homes and let other people uh, have great things. Last year, what did I get last year? I think I got a stuffed corgi. It's always my favorite. And I think I've got some corgi oven mitts and I've gotten some really cool things to hang in the window that have corgis on them that catch the light. So. We're going to actually be spending a lot of today hoping that my sunny buns here will not be snarky with the other corgis because he's not always that friendly in people and dogs in his personal space. But he's been a lot better this year at the Philly Corgi Picnic, so I think there's hope for him to be friendly today. Um, and most of the corgis here are a little barky anyway, so people are pretty understanding if your corgi's not the most cooperative. We're just so happy to be here. Um, we came a different way today and it was way quicker. It was only like an hour and 10 minutes and it's often been two hours. Um, and when I see the map, I can see that I was putting an extra elbow in the route that I didn't need to do. And uh, you bring your lunch and sometimes they order out a pizza for everyone to um, contribute to and share. And I don't know if I have any corgi people here who would like to come over and talk to you but it looks like people are taking pictures of corgis and finishing their breakfast and taking care of corgi bodily functions and um, just sort of settling in for the fun time we're going to have here today at the Corgi Fun Day. And I look forward to this event every year. This wonderful vet whose practice is here hosts us at her lawn and her yard and her home. And I think she even breeds corgis. I don't really know, but there have been years when there's plenty of corgis around. And this year they're gonna teach us how to do rally. They're doing some special events for um, junior owners. Oh, let's see, we have some comments here. What are they asking? God knows if I'll know the answer. Um, oh, hi, Pat. <laughs> yes, lots of corgis here, Pat. Too bad you can't be here to join us. Tristan's pretty excited about seeing all the corgis. And then there's occasionally another dog that sneaks in. And in fact, one year there was a corgalier here, which I got lots of pictures of. He usually sets up on the other side of the tent um, and he comes with a whole lot of corgis. And my sister has often said Tristan's a corgalier. We have to put his ears down to make him look like a cavalier. I can only find him at her house in the herd of dogs because mine's got the ears sticking up. Nobody else has stick up ears there. Here goes some corgis up the hill. And a little bumblebee. So it's a beautiful day. We are so happy that it's not uh, a cold and rainy day. And it's usually, like I said, sunny and beautiful here. And we're just so happy and excited to be spending a whole day with corgis on a nice day. Oh, I was like, talking about the rally. So they're going to teach us how to do rally, which is something I've always wanted to do. But my dog, um, due to having been with horses with me, uh, doesn't really heal. He, ha he has two sides to heal on and uh, I don't even know which one is correct. And rally involves a lot of healing, so we'll see if uh, he'll heal for some treats. And uh, 
see what we can do with that. And sometimes they do demonstrations or talks or toenail trimming, things like that. So we'll see what happens over the course of the day. But we're pretty excited to be here after our exciting ride down and then, of course, taking care of all our business. And more corgis are arriving every minute. The meet and greet time is from 9.30 to 10, so more people will be arriving every couple of minutes here. The parking lot's already pretty full, so we'll be doing the auxiliary parking in the field from here on out. So I don't have a lot more to say because we haven't done anything yet. I will try to post some pictures of the costume division. That is the most fun. Corgis in bikinis and corgis in pirate suits, and Tristan will be sporting a costume today. Um, his skunk suit was very popular a couple years ago, and there's always some really fun costumes. Oh, here come some people with a corgi puppy. It's always exciting when some new corgi people find their way to the corgi fun day because we just love baby corgis. There's nothing cuter than a baby corgi learning to go up and down the stairs and learning what a cat is and playing with a big corgi who's sleeping and doesn't want to move. <laughs> so... Thanks for joining us today for this episode of Conversations with a Corgi, a very brief one, but we are here with Corgi Wonderland around us and some more corgis are coming in. Oh, the baby corgi's getting some love from the person who hosts us here. He is really cute. His nubbin's wagging 100 miles a minute over there. My corgi doesn't even have a nubbin. He's nub free. That would be another division we could have, nubbins. <laughs> anyway. Um, I will post a lot of pictures today from the Corgi Picnic here and let you know how things are turning up and if uh, anyone I find would like to be interviewed about the joys of Corgi ownership, I will certainly track them down and post that as well. So thanks for joining us today at the Mayflower Corgi Fun Day and Picnic and Corgi Excitement Day. <laughs> there is a tall dog here who is not a Corgi and they're barking at him. I think he's part corgi because he's got the right color. Those brindle cardies have a lot to say about it though. <laughs> and we are equal opportunity corgi lovers here. We have we have pems, we have cardies, we have tails, we have no tails. We have this little guy Tristan and some great big guys. Every kind of corgi is welcome. Have a great day, and if you can't make it down here for the corgi picnic, have some fun with your corgi today. Spend some time out in the yard playing a special game. Have some special treats. Have lunch. Share it with your corgi. How can you not? We will see you later, and be stay tuned for lots of picture posting. Have a great day.